Parker to welcome you to another episode of Money Matters Top Tips for Success, where each and every day I bring on new business owners, entrepreneurs, and executives and have them share their top tips for success with you. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all this other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, moneymatterstoptips.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Lauren Cohen on the line, who is a serial entrepreneur, president, and founder over at eCouncil. Lauren, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, Adam. So I'm excited to get more into what you're doing over at Council and more in your, about your uh, entrepreneur adventure. But before we do that, mm-hmm. let's get a little bit further into uh, your background. So how did you get started yeah. as an entrepreneur? Oh, I'm a lawyer. I'm actually originally from Toronto. I'm a lawyer in Canada and the U.S. And um, I kind of fell into entrepreneurship because I, I got a little bored of being a traditional lawyer. And I always had business interests. And I started writing business plans many years ago through um, another serial entrepreneur, actually the founder of Boston Market and I are very dear friends and he asked me to write a business plan and one turned into another, turned into another. And then um, my my now ex-husband was (laughs) deported on the way back from our honeymoon. It's a long story. It's in the preface of my book. Um, And when that happened, I decided that immigration law was a good fit for me and that the business plan fell in with immigration law super well because every business visa needs a business um, a business plan so I kind of collect connected all the dots and started developing a business focusing on providing concierge services to people that were either moving into the U.S. or creating business in the U.S. and establishing a global footprint so that is what prompted me to do it Wow, what an amazing story. I love it. And I, I love these stories that when it just happens kind of organically or something hits you and you just like you cross over that line and then you're and then and then you start the businesses. So I love it. Um yeah. that being said that being said, um, you know, there's some younger entrepreneurs that are maybe just getting started and they're out there and they're on their first venture and you being a serial entrepreneur, we all learn from the ups, the downs, the sideways, everything in between. Um, what kind of advice would you give to that newbie that's really just graduating college and maybe they're just getting their feet wet and as an entrepreneur have a thick skin that is probably the number one well there's there's several i actually have an article i wrote on advice tips i'm sure that many have written it and there there are several tips that i would give such as there's no i in team make sure that you stay in your lean um have a thick skin if you don't have a thick skin develop one you'll need one as an entrepreneur it's never going to be easy. There are going to be ups and downs. And if you're not able to deal with um, a little bit of volatility, entrepreneurship is not for you. But you have to really be persevere. You have to keep swimming, like Dory says, just keep swimming. <laughs> and you have to realize that at the end of the day, it, it's all part of the, of the parcel, um, working through fear. Fear is normal. We're going to have fear. If we have fear, we're probably not in the right business. You have to get out of your comfort zone and push through that fear. And that's sometimes hard for us because we just want to relax and enjoy. And But if you're a true entrepreneur, you're going to keep doing this over and over and over again. Right, Adam? Oh, it, uh, that's what happens. That's uh, For better or worse, I love it. For better um, or worse. Absolutely. Uh, so that being said, tell us a little bit more about your book. Well, I wrote a book in 2017 called Finding a Silver Lining in the Business Immigration Process. It's all about the prefaces about my story and what brought me to, as I said, doing what I do. But the book is about the different business visas and um, how to go about getting them, how to come into country, not just business visas, but also there's extraordinary ability, there's a national interest waiver. Basically, all the visas related to business and entrepreneurship are covered in my book. Um, including EB-5, which I'm sure some of your readers have heard of, which recently has gone through a major change as November 21st. EB-5 is the program where a foreign investor invests up until November 21st, half a million or a million. Now it's 900,000 and 1.8 million. So they're almost doubled in one day. It was crazy. So, um, and people would basically make this investment. The, the investment would correlate to the creation of 10 new jobs. 
and they would get a conditional green card, which would become permanent once after two years. And it's a long, it's, I'm, I'm simplifying a very complex process, but basically it's essentially a green card by investment. So that's the one of the major visas that was um, in its heyday until recently. Um, from 2008, from that uh, economic downturn, it really became a very popular way to come into the country, especially for Chinese nationals and Indian nationals, Vietnamese, um, a lot of South Americans, less so French and British and Canadian. I'm, I'm Canadian myself, as I mentioned. So I'm an immigrant. So I kind of it kind of all comes full circle. And I love working with other immigrants, which is why I wrote the book as well, because it gives a flavor for these different visas and, and all of the um, – kind of the the details about them. So I'm a concierge. I'm not just providing immigration or legal or, or business guidance. I'm a business broker as well. So it's really full service. So client comes to me when they want to create that global footprint. I have quizzes, which I'll share with your, um, which, with your listeners as well, which is a great way to connect with me. And the quiz will give us an idea of where you want to go and how you want to build your business. Because it's not just about establishing a business in the U.S. It's also about expanding your global footprint beyond the U.S. and how does that look and where do you want to go and how do you get there? That's awesome. Um, let's switch it up a bit. I want to get into what you're doing over at uh, eCouncil. First, tell us a little bit more about the about the company. Sure. So um, it's a multi-service company. We are a vendor management pr- service provider. I am a lawyer. I have many lawyers and other professionals that work with us. We write business plans for the best of them and the worst of them, for that matter. We help find businesses. We help. Um, we we do due diligence of businesses to uh, vet the business and make sure that everything makes sense. It's a good investment, and help basically with everything. We handhold the the clients the clients through the whole process of either immigrating or expanding their business. I also have a system that I created in another business called Scale Up Checkup, which is an assessment tool which I created for the business owner that does want to scale their business, whether they be a foreign investor coming in or uh, a domestic um, company expanding. And how does that all look? And, you know, figuring out what what your goals are and how to get there. Do you want to look at a franchise? It's, it's, it's a full-service company, and our, our core competency is all about the business structure and, you know, investing in and expanding your business in the U.S. and, and beyond. That's awesome. Where do you find, and I know this is going to change from um, situation to situation, uh, but where do you find uh, people often make their biggest mistake in this process? Um, so I know there's a lot of processes. I know it goes through in your book, and we're not going to have time to go through all of it today, but where do you find the mistake is um, in, in, in people navigating these? And a, a common theme, I should say, because I know it's going to change from client to client. Yeah, absolutely. Um so I think the common mistake is that people think that it's a simple process and they look for cheap and cheerful rather than looking for somebody that really understands the whole scope of what they're doing. And it's a big mistake because you're, you're paying piecemeal and you may save a thousand or two thousand bucks, but you're going to not get the end result that you want, or you're going to invest in a business that you shouldn't invest in because it hasn't been properly vetted. Um, it, it's like anything, Adam, when you have somebody that's your, um, point of con- your main point of contact, that's your key person, that you are like a CEO that's looking after everything for you. You're not, it's like your house. You're, you don't want to hire somebody to do the windows and somebody to do the floors and somebody to do the sink and somebody to do the, the lights. You want to hire somebody to oversee all those people to do all those things. That's the general contractor. That's me. So I'm the general contractor when it comes to either getting your business into the U.S. or expanding your global footprint. And I make sure that all of the network of professionals that I bring in are vetted and accountable to me. And the accountability is where it so often falls short because lawyers, we know this, they aren't responsive, but they're going to respond to me. So all you need to worry about is that you have a strong relationship with me and that you know that I have your back. And that's what I do. Perfect. Um, so, Lauren, if somebody wants more information on eCouncil or your book or any of your other ventures, um, what's the best way for someone to connect with you? Sure. So, first of all, there you can go to my website. It's E-C-O-U-N-C-I-L-I-N-C dot com. You can find me on LinkedIn as well. It's E-C-O-U-N-C-I-L-I-N-C. I believe the I-N-C is there on LinkedIn. Or look up Lauren Cohen, but there are many of us. And also, I have the quiz that I'd love to share with your 
uh, listeners, as I mentioned, it's, it's, it's Global Biz Quiz. It's the URL, globalbizquiz.com. And I would invite all of you to grab that, take, a ch- take, um, take the quiz, set up a time with me. It's free. We'll have a free consult with me directly, and we can figure out if and how you might be able to expand your business and establish that global footprint. So it's globalbizquiz.com. Adam, you should give it a shot as well. I think you'd really like it. That's awesome, and and I think I will do that. So I appreciate that, Lauren. Um, And uh, thank you again for coming on the show and sharing more about your background and um, all the great work you're doing over at eCouncil and in your other ventures. And uh, to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. Uh, Leave me a review on uh, Apple iTunes Store. Do all those great things we do to support our podcasters. I really do appreciate it. And, Lauren, thanks again for coming on. Thank you.